Hello everyone, RaptorX here, and uh, today I'm doing a little unusual tutorial for me. I usually only do uh, tech it, uh, tutorials in game, uh, but a lot of people have been requesting me to do a uh, texture pack installation tutorial. Now, I want to start off by saying I'm not in any way affiliated with um, Sfax and uh, PureBD, which are the people that make uh, the, the texture pack I'm going to show you guys how to install, which is uh, yeah, Sfax PureBD Craft, that's what, uh, what they're called. And uh, yeah, I'm in no way affiliated with them. Um, I'm not taking credit for the texture pack. I'm just showing you guys how to install it from their uh, official website. Now, um, here, as you can tell, uh, one major important thing to look at is um, for those that don't know, Tech it is not based on the latest uh, Minecraft version. It's based on Minecraft 1.2.5, which uh, you can see here. And I'll show you guys why that why that is important first. Now, oops, I had the wrong tab open. Uh, skip the head a little bit. Now if, uh, if you go to any of my videos I always have a link to their uh, to where to download the texture pack. Now a lot of people have tried installing this and they've had problems uh, problems telling me that the vanilla blocks work just fine but then the the tech it related blocks don't work. They, they can interact with them but they don't I guess they're, they show transparent or they can't see them. I'm not really sure what's going on there but uh, hopefully I'll show you guys how that works and uh, the reason why I'm doing this today is because I actually also have to up, uh, update mine because uh, as you can see here is version 1.3.2 of um, the Pure BD Craft Texture Pack. Now this is not the actual name of the texture pack, this is just something I rename it and I'll show you what, guys why I just renamed it uh, as, I, as I go along with the installation process. Now um, here we go to this, uh, this is their website pretty much, bdcraft.net, which is where this link takes you to. So just click on any of my links, it always takes you to the up-to-date uh, uh, post of their texture pack. Now here they have a little preview video and uh, some explanations of the, um, you know, if you notice any bugs, uh, any bugs to report them and so on. Now there's also a how to install video there. I haven't looked at it to tell you guys the truth. I ju I'm just going from what I remember of the first time I installed it, which uh, is quite a bit ago. Um, so I want to show you guys how to uh, install it now from uh, pretty much from scratch because I have to update mine as well. So I'm going a little blind here. I haven't done the, the steps all the way through. Now if you click your official texture pack and add on download page, you need to click on both of these because you need two parts to the official, I mean to get the texture pack to work, sorry. Now the official texture pack just takes you to the vanilla download of this texture pack, the regular man uh, manila vi uh, Minecraft. And now why this is important is pretty much I'm, I'm pretty sure what everybody has been doing is just downloading this part and that's why the Minecraft, I mean the, the blocks are updated but only the vanilla blocks are updated. Now uh, as you can see here there's also the, the X256 and X512. Now that, that's a high resolution. I'm just going to go with the X128 which actually they consider to be the rec recommended version here. And uh, that's what I've been using I know it works fine with my uh, with my computer and it can handle it fine. Uh, if you guys have a problem with that resolution you can download the lower uh, resolution versions here. As you can see here's, here's the 1.4 version. Now the reason I mentioned the 1.2.5 Minecraft was because this is the one they have to download. There's uh, different versions of Minecraft. They all have uh, different blocks introduced and the newer ones and so on. So what you want to download is the Minecraft 1.2.5 and this will open up a little page here wait a few seconds and that's uh, then you have a little download actually I'll wait here it's only a second left uh, skip add whatever um, download starts soon and here we have it it's, uh, it's downloading that's only 19 megs I will leave that to download for now uh, I'll close this actually so that's f as far as vanilla uh, blocks go now the part that I'm I don't want to say I'm pretty sure but I mean, as far as what people have been telling me in the comments, that's what it looks like to be the problem, is that uh, you need to also download this as well. And uh, this is what I clicked here, the add-on download page. And uh, I'm not really sure who this guy is. Maybe he's the one that created it. I'm not really sure. But just click on the text on the link there, and it'll take you to the up-to-date uh, link. Um, now, as you can see here, I'm doing it uh, 19th. I'm hoping to get this rendered and uploaded tonight. Um, but uh, but yeah. So just click on this one. I already cl I already downloaded this version, uh, and I'll show you guys here. Uh, and that's because I downloaded the wrong version before. I downloaded the Minecraft 1.3, so I'm gonna delete that actually. Here you go. 
And uh, so yeah, that's the one I just finished downloading. It's for the what is it? Where does it go? Single player version. Pure BD. Okay, this one. This is the one I just downloaded. This is the one for uh, 1.2.5, and this is the tech it, uh, uh, What is this called? What do they call it here? No, I'm drawing a blank. The add-on download. This is the uh, the add-on for tech it. And it's these two. Now here's where the, the important part goes. You have to extract both of these. Now I'm going to extract this into this folder. Folder, sorry. And the same for this one. And now what you pretty much have to do is uh, merge the contents of the two. Now all, all you have to do pretty much is just select everything, copy, open the other one, and paste directly in here. Now I'm sure it's going to ask you maybe, there you go, uh, the destination already has a content name. I usually just put yes to all, that means I want to merge them and uh, replace any of the content in it. Uh, do this for the comp, copy and replace. And that's because I'm copying over the, the add-on part, which is the, 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 the blocks that have changed in, uh, in the, from the vanilla Minecraft. And now what you're left with is this huge folder with all the textures in it. And uh, what I do now is just right click and uh, let's see here. One thing I want to check is this the structure of the thing. Okay, so as you can see here, it goes straight into the folder. So what you want to do here is open the folder up. I hit Control A so you can select all, all the content in it. Right click and hit um, Add to Facts. Actually, no, because it needs to be a zip file. So you want to change it to zip file. And here's where you can change the name of it. Um, just gonna pull it. I'm gonna call it Tech It Texture. Tech It Texture 128x. That's fine. Zip. Okay. Now it's gonna go through and uh, make a new zip file with the content of the of both the the add-on and the vanilla um, texture packs. Now this, I take it away. I'm gonna put it in my data folder here. And now I'm going to open up my Tech It, which I already have here, an open texture pack folder. And here we have it. Now this will change for uh, depending on uh, where you installed it and so on. I'm pretty sure it sh should be default. I don't think anybody goes around messing with that stuff. But um, what I want to do here is drop down. Uh, as you can see, here's the one I, I made before. And that was, uh, when was this? September? Yep, September. Uh, and I want to drop this one in. And as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. It's uh, not really sure why it's so much bigger. Um, but here it is. This is the up-to-date version. And now I'm going to try it out. Um, I'm going to minimize this for now. Go into the game. And here you have it. You can see the new version. This is the one I made today. It's version 1.5. And I'm going to try opening this up. It's, it's going to take a while. Even for my com I have a pretty good computer and it's still um, a little bit slow here making sure that I click on it actually now just kind of sits there mm. okay it looks like the screen is frozen I want to make sure it didn't crash here it doesn't look like it crashed it's just taking its sweet time I wish it would give you like a like a little waiting or I don't know a little progress bar. Alright, there you go. It, it switched selection. It moved the screen after like a half an hour. And uh, here we have it. Now just click done and it's going to take its sweet, sweet time again doing whatever, I don't know, what it, whatever it's doing. Changing the texture pack or or yeah, I guess. I don't know what else it could be doing. But uh, we'll just have to wait here a second as well. Hopefully it'll be quick. And uh, and yeah, I mean it's pretty straightforward. I think the the main part, uh, the main problem people were having was uh, merging the two zip files together, making one single zip file. And uh, I'm not sure how well they explained it. Like I said, I didn't read the or watch the video that they posted here. I'm pretty sure I read something before, but uh, but yeah, now I can try it out. But I don't have my uh, YouTube. I mean the server going. So I'm gonna run the server. Where's my tech it folder? There you go. Launch. 
and that's launching should be here soon. All right, done. Perfect. Now, if I go here again, there you go. Sure work. So as you guys can see, it is a local server. I'm not trying to not allow anybody in it, but it just pretty much means that it's a local server. It runs just on my computer only. I can access it. It's not a public server. For those that have asked um, for the IP address, um, unfortunately, I don't, I don't have a public server. Maybe, maybe later on, uh, um, I could collect the funds to get a server, but that's not something I'm looking at right away. All right, now here we have it. Uh, I'm gonna, not sure how it's looking in Camtasia, whatever it is. Let me disable Matmus. My God, is really loud. All right, there you go. Matmus disabled. Now, as you can see here, my uh, I don't know if you can see here actually, but if you can't, um, <laughs> here's my uh. My windows actually have connected textures now, and uh, all my Tekkit blocks are showing up. Now these are all items that don't show up in the regular vanilla Minecraft, and um, I believe this one's changed a little bit. I don't remember, recall having that in the sides, but uh, but yeah, I mean that's it pretty much. Just uh, minimize this back up, and uh, as you can see here, everything's working. I'm not sure how Camtasia handles uh recording of in-game content. I never tried it, so hopefully this is showing up just fine for you guys. But uh, but yeah, I mean, all the content, all the pieces are changed. Oh, wow, look at that. B battery box has changed. I didn't know that. And uh, maybe the MFE has changed. Yep. They did change a few things around. Um, so that's because now I'm using the latest version, the 1.5. So yeah, there you go. Now, hopefully this uh, uh, showed you guys uh, how to uh, what you call it, how to install it and you, you don't have any problems but do leave a comment if you have a qu uh, any questions about how to install this and uh, as always just you know, make sure you give this guys credit when you use your texture pack they, they did a great job and uh, yeah until next time bye <laughs>